Welcome back, friend, to the Doing What Matters podcast. I am really excited to be back with you as I am starting a brand new series. Well, I actually started it last week, so episode 282 of the Doing What Matters podcast started a brand new series here on something I call the seven P's of business. If you want to hear the backstory and actually take the little self-assessment, you can go back to episode 282 and listen to that episode and catch up on that. And there is a download that I had with that episode that I'll actually put in the show notes to this episode. And then I also have another download for you. So on each of these episodes for the next seven weeks, I am going to have a download for you of the notes that I'm going to be sharing with you. You can also watch these as videos for these seven episodes on our YouTube channel. So if you go to therealliferocess.com on YouTube, you'll be able to find us there. You can download the handout that I'm giving. Uh, episode. It will be therealliferocess.com forward slash purpose. Because today we're going to be talking about the first P in the seven Ps, and that is purpose. If you want the full kind of assessment and uh, that kind of thing, you can go to therealliferocess.com forward slash seven, and you can get that download as well. So a couple of places that you can get some free content to go along with these podcast episodes over the next seven weeks. I'll have a download for you for each week. Just hang out with me through the next few months, and you're going to get all seven ways that I look at my business, that I teach others to look at their business, and to set it up well for success. That is what I love to help either coaches or business owners, whoever I'm working with. I do a lot of coaching around the business space, and we help other coaches to start their businesses. I work with small business owners. So this is kind of my jam. This is where I love to hang out. And I love to do it from that idea of really, what has God called us to do? What do we feel that is the work that we're doing in the world as we're all serving others in one way or another? And so how do we serve one another well through the work that we do? So let's dive in today on this episode all about purpose. And again, you can look at that free download if you want to get it, but I'm going to walk through. Remember, we're looking at all seven Ps. So let me name them once again, just to get you on track in case you didn't catch the last episode. The seven Ps are purpose, plan, product, particulars, processes, problems, and people. Those are the seven areas that if doesn't matter what level your business is at. If you look at these seven areas on a regular basis, you're going to stay on track. No matter if you're brand new in business or if you have multiple six figures, seven figures, multiple seven figure businesses, you're always coming back, I believe, to these seven Ps. First one we're going to dive into right now is the one of purpose. I think that our purpose comes and is developed in a couple of different areas, actually three different areas. It's what is your mission statement? What are your core values? And what is your three-year vision? And so mission statement, core values, three-year vision. Those are the three things we're going to talk about on this episode. And you may just want to grab a piece of paper and write some of these things down or wait and get the free download that you can get from this episode, whatever works for you. But let's dive in first to talking about your mission. Why is mission important? And some people will call it a mission statement. Some people will call it a vision statement. I like the word mission statement because vision means something else to me. We'll talk about that in just a second. But when you think about the work that you're doing in the world, why are you doing that? If you have people on your team that are working with you on this mission, 
in this work that you do? How do you describe why you do what you do? If you're thinking about hiring team members at some point and you envision your business having other people, how will you describe to them why you do what you do? Now, for some of you, you may really want to sit and think about this. What have you discerned? I guess for all of us, we want to sit and think about this. What have we discerned that is important about the work that we do? Why do we do it? What gets us out of bed every morning? What gets us excited? What are we passionate about? And I believe that as we work through that, we can come to one sentence that describes the purpose of your business or your organization, and it can be communicated then both internally, that means to your team members, or if you have a board of directors or those those types of things, you could communicate it internally and it sets where you're going externally as you think about your clients and your customers, the why you do what you do. I'll give you an example of how you might write this. And this will take a little bit of work. This, And it will be refined at different stages in your business. But at the, and then you put in the name of your business. So for me, the name of my business is The Real Life Process. So at The Real Life Process, we help. And then you write who you help, who you serve, who is the person that you're doing this for. Now, if you're in a service-based business, we can picture those people. We know who they are. If you're in a more product-based business, how does the, who is the product for? But at the name of your business, we help, and then you put in the who, do, achieve, transform, et cetera. What do you help them do? So describe that by, and then name the service that you provide. So that's an easy way of beginning a mission statement. At the name of your business, we help, who do you help, achieve, do, transform, what do you help them do? How do you help them? What do you sell them? What do you provide for them? By, and then again, how do you serve them? What's the transformation? What's the achievement? What's the result that they get? So I just want to encourage you to start thinking about your mission statement. This goes with the purpose of your business. You will probably have to write and rewrite this several times. You may start out with three or four sentences as you work your way down to one solid sentence that you can share. Who do you serve? How do you do it? What is the end result as you serve them? That's a mission statement. Now there's a tool that I love to use to do things like this, and that's called a mind map. I've talked about it on so many episodes here on the Doing What Matters podcast. And it's just that idea of not trying to think so much in step one, step two, step three, but more thinking of just a brain dump. So writing a circle on a piece of paper and putting mind or putting mission statement in the center of that circle and then putting all these ideas you have around your mission statement and then organizing them into a certain order. That might be one way you can work towards a mission statement. The why matters. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning. It's what motivates you on the days that you may not want to do the work that you have to do. So mission statement is the first thing in purpose. The next thing is your values. What are the values that you have in your business? Now, values to me are some words or phrases that in the beginning, I think a lot of what they do is help you and your team become ambassadors for your brand. And they're really helpful as you go to hire others to work for you. It ties to the why you do what you do but it's how you action it out, how you value those things. And it helps to align your uh, team and your organizational culture in so many ways. It forms that culture. And then eventually you can also use that in your marketing and your content creation of those things. So I'm going to share with you what 
my values are, what the values are that we have at the real life process. And this will give you an idea of maybe how you might get to values. Now, mine are really short and simple, but they didn't start out this way. They are be present, be real, bring joy, and create impact. And there's a meaning behind each of those to me. I want to show up fully present, whether I'm doing this podcast for you, whether I am on a coaching call, whether I am speaking or delivering a workshop, I want to show up fully present, not thinking about what I'm going to do next. And I want my team to show up that way, fully present to whoever we're with. I want us to be real. I want us to be transparent. We don't have to have it all together. We don't have to be perfect. We want to be relatable. We want to have things be fun. And I want my team to have fun, but I also want my clients to feel like we're fun to hang out with. I want you, as you listen to the podcast, to feel like you're just sitting down and having a cup of coffee and or a soda or whatever it is, or you're listening in your car or as you're working out, and that it feels fun, not heavy. And I want it to bring impact. So those sound like a lot of things I want, but that's how I want our company to show up in the world. Now, when it comes to how would I use that in marketing or creating content, if you've ever picked up a copy of the book, Do What Matters, Live From Rest, Not Rush, Using the Real Life Process, it's a book that I put out in 2022 that has my whole life management process in it, my rule of life process written in there. And you flip through the pages, you may not have noticed, but there are big pages that just have those words on them, just have those four core values. It was important for me to put those values in my book as kind of placeholders. So as you think and you brainstorm, and maybe you do a brain dump on a mind map, I want you to think about what matters to you. What is values that you would want to bring to your business, your organization? How do you want to show up? You might have three, you might have four, you might have five. I think if you get more than that, it's not memorable for you and your team and it's not as actionable. And we talk about this at every team meeting that we have. We talk about these values. I put them in front of our team. I use them as a metric to gauge against when we create content and when we do things is when I look at the podcast, is it still creating impact? Is the, is it still fun for me? Is it bring joy for others? Am I present? Am I truly here? And I want you to know that I am. Every single episode, I am thinking about you and how it will be received by you. So those are values. Another super important part of putting together this first P of purpose When I think about purpose, I really think it's like the doing, or excuse me, it's like the being side of our business, that deep internal. When I talk about the real life process, I talk about the being and the doing for us as a person. And I think your business has a being side as well, that underneath side of the why we do what we do and the calling that we often feel of this is the work that I'm supposed to be doing. This is the contribution that I'm making to the world. Let's get to the third one, which is your vision. So we've done the deeper work of the why, we've written that out. So we have it for ourselves or for those we might have on our team in the future or that we currently have now. And if you have a team now, you might even wanna get them in an exercise of creating or redefining your mission statement. And then we've talked about the values and again, Bring your team in on it if you want to. I remember when our team sat down and really got them down to just four values. It was so fun. It was a fun exercise and something fun to do as a team. And then the last part is your vision. Now, what do I mean by vision? Vision consists of tangible and measurable milestones that you're aiming to achieve in the next one year to three years. These should be articulated in as a brief statement, something that's just like a one-line bullet point if possible, and they include a specific 
measurable numeric metric, if at all possible. So some examples might be, we're going to sell a certain number of products in the next three years. We're going to grow an email list to a certain number or in, or increase it by a certain number. You're going to write a book maybe in the next year or two or three. You're going to hire so many team members. You might even be as specific as to what role you want to hire. And you might say, in 2025, I'm going to do this. In 2026, I'm going to do this. You might have an example of a revenue goal that you have and the year that you want to hit that goal. The reason I like a vision like this, I actually have, I can't remember, it's 15 or 20 things right now on my three-year vision. And I am looking at those and I actually have them with the year that I want to accomplish them. So starting in 2024, 2025, and 2026, I'm recording this right now in 2024, and I can check those off and highlight those that we accomplish in 2024. And then I'm constantly setting out what we're working towards even for 25 and 26. So this gives myself some goals, if you wanna say it that way, to shoot for. It gives me a vision, it's very specific, it's measurable, and there are milestones that I want to hit and achieve along the way. Now we'll talk in some of the other seven Ps about how we break down this vision into actionable steps and projects that we're working on. We'll actually talk about that in the next episode when we talk about our plan. But here we're getting into the being side of your business and breaking down that mission, that vision, and the values that you have for your business. These three things really do make up this first P of purpose. Once we set that foundation of the purpose of our business, we are ready to go. We're ready to dive in to the other six Ps that we have. Now, I don't want that to stop you from moving forward in your business because you will go back and redefine and define this purpose along the way. So don't procrastinate and say, well, once I get my purpose nailed down, I will then really move in my business. I'll really be going. And for some of you, you've been doing your business for quite some time and you need to go back and revisit your purpose. Either way, enjoy the process. When I first began in business, I used to think that I will arrive. At some point in time, I'll have it all together and I'll have all of these things figured out. And I have come to realize to enjoy the journey. As a business owner, part of, I think, what God has called us to is to enjoy the journey. There's going to be challenges along the way. There's going to be problems. That's one of our seven Ps. There's going to be things that we are going to define and refine along the way because our business is going to grow. But it's also going to hit times where we want this strong foundation because we need it. Maybe sales are not as good or you don't have the number of clients or you're not selling the amount of product or you feel like you're in a lull and you can go back to this purpose and say, but I feel that this is the work I am to be doing. Maybe I need to shift a little bit. Maybe I need to redefine my vision a little bit, but this is the work that I feel that I'm called to. So I just encourage you to dive into this work of purpose, and then we'll be back next week to look at the next P of our seven Ps, and that's gonna be plan. So if you're enjoying this series, the greatest compliment you could pay me is to go out to your favorite podcast player and leave a review. I love it when it's on Apple Podcast, if you listen on Apple, but wherever you listen, if you can leave a review for the Doing What Matters podcast, it's the greatest compliment that you can give me. If you're enjoying this series or the podcast overall, I would so appreciate it. It really helps me to know that I'm showing up and that I'm connecting with you as the listener. So thanks so much for listening and just diving in. I can't wait to hear the purpose that you're creating. You can always reach out to me uh, at my email, Teresa, 
at the real life process.com and just tell me, hey, here's what I came up with for a mission statement or a vision statement or values that I'm working through. I love to hear from you. And if you'd like to connect more, you can also join our free community. Just go to our website at the real life process.com. Remember, we spell real life with one L. So the real life process.com, one L. And just click on join the community. It's absolutely free. I'm in there. Our team is in there. Other people that love serving their people are in that community. And we just hope that you would enjoy touching base with us there. So remember, every ordinary day has an extraordinary moment. You just have to look for them. The reason we want to build businesses that are effective and that do the work we're called to do is so that we can enjoy the moments that God gives us in the margins of our life. So I will see you right back here next week on the Doing What Matters podcast.